Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's James Marley and I'm joined by Ben Clark from TMS Capital and Alex Leyland from Leyland Private Asset Management. And we're talking about stocks that are in the news and making headlines. Ben, I'll start with you. CBA, lots of news, big scandal. Buy, hold or sell? Yeah, be a hold, James. Um, I thought it was an excellent result in a really tough environment for the banks, but it doesn't look cheap on 13 and a half times or so. And we do think it's going to de-rate versus the other three where it's always had, always had a healthy premium. A few victims in the CBA scandal. Uh, yes. Buy, hold or sell, Alex? Uh, I'd have to agree. Uh, it's a hold. Uh, obviously, it's been the premium franchise in the past, but it may lose that premium given the, the regulatory impact that, that the uh, Austrag regulations are going to bring on them. So I'd say it's just a hold. Okay. 18 months ago, you couldn't find a friend or buy a friend as a miner. Rio handing cash back to shareholders. Buy, hold or sell? Uh, again, it's, uh, it's a hold. Look, I, I like what management are doing there with regards to not frivolously spending money at the top of the cycle. They're, they are, they are, they've got that capital preservation bent about them. So I like that, but they've got too much leverage to commodity cycles. So they're, they're price takers more than, uh, than price makers. So just on that basis, on balance, they're a hold. It could be as good as it gets for Rio. Buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I'd be a hold as well. Um, you know, I think they are price takers because they've done a lot of work on the cost side of the business and you just wonder how much further they can get those costs down. There will be good returns to shareholders, so there's a reason to be there for now. Okay. Uh, I'm used to my cricket being associated with Victoria Bitter. This summer it's going to be with Financial Products and Magellan. Buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I'd be a buy on Magellan. I, I thought they had a really strong underlying result. The headline number was um, a bit weaker due to the performance fees, which is more of a cyclical kind of thing. This new um, um, LIC that they're launching, not an LIC, um, could lock in a large amount of fun. So I'd, I'd be buy. Alex, Magellan, buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I'm probably more of a seller of Magellan. Uh, I just think at 24 times earnings, they have got that, that global uh, distribution. They're at $46 billion uh, funds under management. And with the, with the new uh, lick they're bringing on, then you know, that's going to uh, increase their funds under management. And also, uh, they've uh, increased their marketing spend by about three times. So, so that should lead to more retail funds. But I just think at 24 times and, and leverage to markets, so I just think it's a bit expensive. To sell. Got an idea, something that's making headlines that you like? Uh, yeah, well, I, I think a really good business. It's been growing at about 25% for the last five years per annum, and that's Webjet. Uh, obviously, it's the, the, the travel online uh, billboard, but uh, they've recently bought a, a business out of Europe for $330 million. Uh, they only had to raise $160 million through equity uh, placement. So, you know, it's not very dilutive. It's going to be EPS accretive in the first, well, on the first day. So I think there's some really good growth coming through from Webjet and, and we're a buyer of that business. Alrighty, Benny, here's your chance. Something that's in the news that you like the look of. Yeah, another acquisition actually, James. Um, Aristocrat um, announced the acquisition of Plarium, which will take them further into the digital market. This business is rapidly transforming itself. Over 50% of its earnings are now recurring. Um, the ROE is nearly 50%. We'll have strong earnings growth for the next few years. Great management team. Valuation doesn't look too pricey. Alrighty. We'll keep your eye on the headlines because it might just give you a few ideas.